the muti, the, the wallet that is putting the muti that I am supposed to travel. But when I go to the shop that day, yeah, I feel why these bottles are burning me like this. They were burning and, you. Uh, the belts are tightening me. And when I open my t-shirt, I see a blue lamp. Yeah. You swear by the bridge. You don't do that. We'll kill you. You swear by I surrender. And they arrest me. I didn't regret. Mm. And I was not remorseful. Okay. Because why? From my childhood. What a great and uh, a blessed uh, a blessed morning, a blessed day, a blessed afternoon. Um, I don't know where you are joining us from. We want to welcome you to our real life segment, real life issues. How did you get here? These are real stories from real people, intelligent beings that probably have been caught in between life. And uh, I thank the Lord in the studio. Uh, right now, we have Tabo. Uh, we thank the Lord. Uh, how are you, Tabo? I'm fine, Pastor Tia. I'm, I'm doing well. Amen. We thank the Lord. Um, probably just begin by introducing yourself, or your name, uh, and where you were born. Uh, uh, I thank you and say uh, good afternoon this morning. This name is Tabo Lawrence Safadi. I am born 1974 15 in Johannesburg, in Soweto, uh, in Gauteng province. Oh, we thank the Lord. And tell me, how many um, are you in your family? Um, I'm talking of the family that you were born in. Okay, we are three brothers and uh, three sisters. In another words, we were we 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 are born in six. Okay. And so now we are left, uh, we are four. Okay. Two brothers, two sisters. And what happened to the to the other uh, siblings? Yeah, my older sister by the name of Sekhamiti, he died uh, uh, ninety, passed away nineteen ninety nine because of the uh, sickness of uh, HIV. And okay. AIDS. Okay. And my brother, yeah, my, that one I come behind him is Pito. He passed away two thousand and five. Mm. Uh, and he was being buried uh, April and uh, April month. The, the cause of the death uh, is the same as my sister okay. uh, HIV and AIDS. Okay, all right. Uh, no, that is well. Tell me, Tabo, um, before we go into you know the, your, your real life story, yeah. uh, how was your childhood like? Um, how can you define or explain the way you were raised up, the difficulties that you were facing as you were growing up? Amen. I mean, in my childhood life, uh, uh, I was uh, going to school mm -hmm. every morning, but I was not uh, carrying a lunchbox mm -hmm. because of the love that uh, was not the same in the house. Okay. Uh, my mother is a cruel mother. My father also is the same. And so they were doing the things that uh, are hurting me so much, and that shows me that uh, that shows or or expose mm. uh, their reality that uh, they are not having the same love. To their children so you felt like they were loving uh your siblings probably more than the way they loved you it's like that pastor mm. because uh, when is the time to tour with the school uh, when i ask the money to pay for school for, fees for, 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 for to go out with the school with the buses okay trips. to go out the, for the trips mm. uh, I was told that I must go to look for a work that I can pay for the trip. Mm. And how old were you then? Uh, those years, I was uh, I was under twelve years. Okay, maybe eight, ten or eight or nine there around. Just briefly, uh, you know, as we were talking, um, was there, there were some questions that I was asking? I, I wanted to know which areas should I touch. Uh, explain to me what really happened with your eye. Um, 
is it something that happened when you were young and uh, uh or is it something that you have also uh dealt with what really happened with your eye yeah when i was uh, at uh, standard uh, three uh my father was beating me because of the wrong complaints that comes from the parents of those i i am going to school with them because they were fighting me when i fight them back mm. they go to the complaint to their parents and their parents they bring their complaint to my father in the families whereby my father is uh, beating me with fist uh, mm. in the eyes in the body sometimes he carry me and throw me on the ground mm. uh, and then is whereby I get uh, an, injury. My, um, an injury in my eye and then I go to hospital several times. Okay. So I get an operation when I was, I was old. I think it was uh, 2003. Okay. So all along you just had a problem with your... Amen. Because of uh, what what happened. Amen. Um, it is well. All right. So I want us to, to, uh, to talk more um the reason why i've been asking these questions is we we want to find out and also to educate our viewers um some of the actions that can lead our children uh to certain behaviors or uh, life struggles that they will experience later in their lives mm -hmm. i strongly believe uh, you viewer that you are watching uh the foundation of your children is very important mm -hmm. and some of the crimes that we are having some of the hardships that we are facing in the community is based uh, on uh, foundations that we did not lay down properly to our children. And this I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself, I'm talking to everybody. How can we have a better uh, society? So now the government is uh, really uh, struggling with crime. Uh, we, we, we're having a lot of things that is happening uh, in our area and sometimes we all run and blame the government yet it was a parental failure that took place and if that, those things are rectified we are going to have a better society tell me um uh tabo what made you uh what pushed you into the the life of crime yeah my honorable pastor what pushed me in crime it is that when my father have a fight with my uncle, uh, he, he threw him within a big stone. Your uncle or the father? Yeah, he threw my uncle with a big stone. Okay. When my, 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 my uncle comes with the police, yeah. then he said, it's me who threw my uncle with a stone. Okay. And... Uh, that is not a, the truth because I was still young. I was under 12 years mm. in those years. Mm. So, so your uncle and your father, they were fighting. Yeah, they were fighting. Okay. So it's whereby I started now to see that now the life is now heavy for me. It's whereby every time when my father is beating me with fist, uh, and kicking me mm. it's where by now when i'm alone i ask one hey, i hope that one day i can be in jail wow. it's whereby the story that i end up in the prison mm. it is because my father was treating me like that that when he's committing a crime to beat my uncle mm. then the police asked me he said it's me mm. so i I became so hateful that I cannot know what to do and what to talk okay. because my father was listening nothing from everybody, even from my mother, even from my grandmother, his own mother. Mm -hmm. So is that why I end up in the prison? Okay. So I, I, I want to understand something. Was it your uncle who said it was you or it is your father? It is, it is my father okay yet it was him yet it was him because he threw my uncle with the mm -hmm. with the stone yeah so and how how long were you uh in prison because of that case 
Uh, for that case of my father, mm -hmm. I was not taken to a prison okay. because the police have, see, have seen and hear and realized that my father was not telling the truth. Okay. He was just hiding his wrong that he was mm. doing. Mm. Using you as a scapegoat. He was using me as a scapegoat. Okay, all right, okay. Yeah, yeah. So the gangsterism, when did it start? Yeah, the gangsterism, I started when I was uh, in school. I was in grade, uh, I was in standard seven. Okay. And so it was because of uh, uh, the gangsterism of the, it was because of the Inkata. Okay. Because the yard in my, in, uh, in uh, the area mm -hmm. where I was staying, yeah. they was not been fenced. Okay. So, uh, the muti that the Zulus were using, yeah. they were supposed to, to kill and go forward. Mm. They must not supposed to turn back. Mm. And then it's whereby we started to fence our yard. And then I start the gangster to fight these people. Oh, so you were trying to protect my community. Wow. Amen. And how old were you at that time? At uh, that time, um, I was uh, 16 years old wow. those, those years, mm -hmm. but I was already uh, matured because of what I was uh, close to uh, big uh, brothers, mm -hmm. then those who were uh, leading the gangsterism, and then I started to take the experience from, from them. them. Okay, and how many were you in the gang? Yeah, in the game when I started my gang, it were, we were less than twenty-five. Okay, plus minus twenty. 20. Wow! And you were the leader of the. I was the leader, and I was having my right hand to the guy from Molapo mm -hmm. by the name of Tumi was being kidnapped, mm -hmm. and then was killed in Alexander. Okay, all right. I, I want us to talk more about that. Tell me wh uh, what you would do before we get to uh the time that you were sentenced the 28 years mm. uh I, I want us to uh know before let's say there's a robbery uh that you guys want to do uh before you go there what were the preparations what were you doing before you 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 get there yeah the preparation before we can commit or do this the the the, the, the particular crime yeah we're sitting down because we're having the one who who is uh, good in drawing okay and then we draw the place that the, the one who is drawing is draw the place from outside mm. and then and he takes the the interior he put it outside and oh. then the 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 outside he put it inside that we can see uh, how is the rooms or how is the particular business maybe or a house that we are going to rob. So in other words, you were not just going and no. you, there was preparation, there's somebody, so in other words, for somebody to be able to draw, yeah. he knows what's inside and what's happening, is that true? Uh, immediately when we, we, we see on the drawing mm -hmm. what is inside, yeah. uh, the, 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 the inside of the house of maybe the, 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 the business, Mm. we just not end up there we just go and trace the place mm. what time the people are leaving okay. or in the morning what time are the people arriving mm -hmm. and what time they are going to tea time okay lunch and uh, the scan off the mm. scan off maybe is uh, uh, five o'clock or half past four no you uh, see the things that we are checking mm. because we be, before we can evaluate okay all right to start uh, to do the to do the, the the crime wow all right and and I, I want us to to touch on something uh tabo because this is very very important uh i've seen uh i've heard many people saying um you know we all slept uh, we did not even hear any movement mm. uh, when they probably somebody that is breaking the house. We did not hear any movement. Is there uh, what we can call uh, spiritual action whereby 
probably you guys will go to Sangomas uh, before uh, you know going to uh, to crimes. Do you do something? Do you uh, seek spiritual authority, or is something that you can do physically? Yeah, my pastor. Uh, before we go to a crime mm -hmm. with my gangs, uh, we are going to a Sangoma mm -hmm. in Limpopo. Okay. Uh, in Pumalanga. Mm -hmm. Uh, just hold on, mind you, uh, viewers. Uh, Tabo's life has totally changed. Everything that he's telling us is something that happened in the past. Uh, we're talking of years and years ago. So I want you to know that I'm talking with a totally different person. You can go ahead. Uh, we are going before we can go to commit a crime. Mm -hmm. We are going to our Sangoma in Limpo, in Pumalanga, in Standard 10. Mm -hmm. But I will never mention the name don't. of the Sangoma. <laughs> yeah. Because it's very well known. It's oh, wow. where she is well known. Okay. All right. She's a lady. Okay. And then we go there. Even before we can talk, mm -hmm. then he told us what we, what matter we have come with to her. To her. Mm. And then he told us all the things. And then he gave us now a hint or a tip. Mm. Okay. What we must do and uh, what we must believe and what the rituals must we do. Mm. Because there was a, uh, what they call it when it is a mountain, mm -hmm. there is some thing, passages inside caves. the yeah. In the, we can, yeah, the caves. Yeah. So we go to the caves with a cup of the that we drink a, a tea or coffee okay. with them. Yeah. And then he said, as uh, we are working with a, a very, very, very beautiful lady who is leading us to that cave. The lady stays on the cave or? No, not? it's not stays at okay. the cave. It's just uh, the things that is uh, in, uh, in Sesotho, we are calling them Bapapi. Okay. But when they uh, appear, mm -hmm. if Pastor, maybe I make an example about you. Yeah. When you are a sangom, yeah. it appears uh, it is you, mm. but it's not is the thing that you are using that they call it bapapi. Okay, and then he leads us until to the cave, and when we come there, we are going to just to fetch the water, mm. but we don't know where to fetch the water, but we are told that we may not come uh, afraid. And what time is this when you are doing that? What time is it? Uh, that uh, when we are doing this, we are doing this uh, early in the morning. Okay. Two o'clock to three o'clock. A.M. A.M. in mm. the morning. Mm -hmm. And then we go in the caves. Uh, the mute that uh, we were using before we go there is going to show us that uh, it's a lion that is opening his mouth. mouth. It's whereby that we are going, is the place where we are going to fetch the water. Wow. And then we fetch the water, but if that you are still scared, yeah, you, you can't make it. That lion will eat you? No, you are, it's not a life lion. It's okay. the muti uh -huh. that, is, that gives us that vision. Okay, all right. And so if you are, you are still scared, you are not strong, your heart is, is not strong, then you die immediately there because of that motive that you have used. So you must be, Brave. there must not be fear in you. Amen. Wow. So we face the water and then we go, we go back. And what will she do with the water? You're giving her back When he comes there, with the, you will go there in his uh, shrine. Okay. And then we don't know what he's doing there. And mm -hmm. then he bring them those cups. Back. We have to drink those water. And according to her, what is the, the explanation? Like when you drink water, are you not going to be short? Are you not going to be caught? What is the benefit of the rituals that you are? Yeah, he told us that when we go away from me, we come to, to Bluefontein or maybe to Johannesburg. Yeah. So we come to Johannesburg. And he told us that we must not look back mm. and when we arrive at our town yeah we must not talk to each and everyone even in the way we must not talk to each and everyone <laughs> because we were driving the stolen cars 
Okay. Is, is we only, we are not talking to anyone. Mm. And then we are committing the crime. Because when we go, when we go away from his, his, uh, from the Sangoma, yeah. we are going straight to the place where we are com going to commit the crime. Also, oh, from the Sangoma, you are not going home. No. You are going straight to where you are going to steal or... Amen. And so, uh, we go there, we enter the place, we take our firearms out, mm -hmm. uh, and we preach and then we do the job wow. and it goes it we, we work with time okay when it said five minutes yeah it's five minutes in five minutes time we must be out out of the so uh, you are keeping time you we are sure. keeping time because there is one like me i said the leader i was holding in a harafle and the time also is on me you are the one who is called, directing others it's I time directing for us others. To go. you see when the time is finished they know that I will scream or maybe I will just shoot. Then they know that we have to go. We have to go. And in order for us to, uh, what is it that you were bringing um, uh, to the Sangoma? Well, definitely, I, we, we all know they, sometimes they ask for chicken, sometimes they ask for money, sometimes they ask for, you know, just uh, what is it that she would demand you to bring? Yeah, our Sangoma that uh, we have we, going to her when he finished to, to give us his motives mm -hmm. and the tips uh, and all the explanation according the rituals mm -hmm. that we have to uh, he will tell that that go and when uh, you are finished yeah then you come and thank and, me and, and thanks me wow and it was what we were doing all the times mm. Take me back, uh, Tabo, to um, the time that you were you were caught. Um, we're talking to um, we're talking about when they they sentenced you to twenty eight years. Uh, take me to what happened. What led to the police coming and uh, arrest you? Yeah, past my pastor, uh, the muti that was supposed to keep in the wallet. Mm -hmm. I forget it at home. Wow. So every time you have the muti, nothing would happen? Nothing, would nothing happen. will happen because that muti, when I go out of the yard, I bend the muti and I talk to the muti and then that smoke, I just uh, move it around my head uh, and talk and talk and talk. After that, uh, I just... Uh, uh, make it that uh, the, when it is burning, yeah, it must not make it smoke again. Okay, and then I just uh, make a cross on my forehead with that ash. Okay, and then you I go, do, and then we go. I know when I get that scared, maybe the heart is beating. Yeah, I know there is nothing that is not is going to happen. If your heart is beating, yeah, and sure, surely mm. nothing is going to happen. But the, when the, uh, my heart is not beating faster, yeah, uh, you see, my pastor, then you know, then, I then, then I know that uh, I must not go there. So you were listening to your instincts because your mood could con uh, communicate with it's your my instinct. Wow, amen. Mm. And so when they found me, the muti in the wallet was not there, and I was you going to the shop. It. I, I forgot. I was just looking that I'm going first to the shop and, and then come back and come back. But when I'm going, <laughs> I feel the four bottles that are on my chest. Okay, that I put. I, I want us to sorry, Tabo, because this is very interesting. Amen. I, I want us to touch more. Oh, oh, let's put a pause. Amen. I want you to explain to me the four bottles that were here. Uh, I want you to explain to me uh, that the skin the, that you were talking about. Amen. So let's start with the what was in the in the bottles. In the bottle was the the gall okay. of the that uh, snake, and it was the soil of the graveyard. The soil of the graveyard. Yeah, it was the blood. And tell me, do you know the meaning? 
of uh, the soul of the graveyard was representing what? Do you know uh, when she gave you? Um, yeah, pastor, my honorable pastor, uh, uh, the the soil of the grave. Mm -hmm. It uh, symbolizes darkness. Mm. In another words, my thing, the things that we were doing, yeah, we were doing in the night. We okay. were not doing them during the, the day, day. During the day, and uh, most of the place that we were entering, or maybe robbing, yeah, we are robbing them from eight o'clock because evening. we know they close ten o'clock, and then from eight o'clock we start. Mm -hmm to do our job mm. and then we finish and then we go it must be at night it must be at night because he uh, what can i say uh, uh, he choose to to bless us with darkness Mm. Mm. And so is that why we uh, we end up to go in the night in the day we, okay. are, we, we hide so we have uh, the soil of the grave representing darkness yeah the gao do you know what was uh, what what it symbolizes the, was the gao of the snake or it, or? it was the gall of the snake uh -huh. it was uh, uh, the blood of the snake i don't know what color of the blood of the snake okay is it. Mm -hmm. and so it was uh, 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 the muti in another way say uh, all of them yeah. are, are symbolizing darkness mm. Mm. so from the belt yeah. that i was putting on my upper arm okay how many them, belts are there they were four four aside in okay. another words they were eight okay and they were been make a thing like a a bag just to put inside and then it's been closed and put the 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 chest part that to, to just to tie it okay on your upper arm mm. uh, and why on the hand was it for power or when there is something that it happens it will just tie you wow. and in the bottles yeah the bottles uh the water they are they are, 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 are sounding like boiling and they are using if there is police yeah when you look them you'll see a blue light a blue light <laughs> no i want to hear this again you don't know that they're police but when you look yeah the bottle will have a blue light a blue light then you know that then these you are... know these are the police Mm. And you have now to take out the muties yeah. that you're supposed to pay and talk to the muties and just put it uh, at the gate, at the pole, because those years were using uh, the hood poles. Okay. And then I just put it there. Put it there. It bends. When the police car or police vehicle is coming, it will pass through your house. <laughs> past my house or maybe stand to me and ask uh, uh, you didn't see Tabo <laughs> and they are talking to Tabo you see and they are talking to the same person they are looking for mm. no Tabo you just passed now 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 five minutes uh, and they now. know the Tabo they are looking uh, and they for. know the the appearance uh, the of Tabo but at that time because of the mute the mute just uh, mm. take them away from my appearance and show them another appearance mm. and then they go they are going to look for Tabo. when they come to the next person the next person told them there hey, the same person you're taking to him <laughs> is Tabo. when they come back they Tabo is not there Tabo is not there and so it's the way that they, so the one that i was wearing with a vest yeah it was just to, to strengthen this the bottles and and the eight uh, belts that, that you... are, are on my upper arm wow and was this uh would you renew this like uh uh probably after three months i have to go back to the sangoma 
was there a renewal process yeah there was a renewal process uh because uh, when we started it was six months okay after six months maybe we go uh three or four times then he said we must come after a year okay and then we go we go when we are busy going a, after a year then 1993 1992 i ran away okay after they kill my my colleague uh, in alexander and then i ran away to a small town they call it Trumpsburg. okay and i hide there but 1993 they arrest me because I forget the muti, the, the wallet that is putting the muti that I am supposed to turn. But when I go to the shop that day, yeah, I feel why these bottles are bending me like this. They were bending and, you. Uh, the belts are tightening me. And when I open my t-shirt, I see a blue lamp. And then I look forward. I see the car that the, the white car that is going is moving and stop moving and stop as whereby I turn and the firearm is on me on mm -hmm. my wrist yeah. on my waist and when I turn I walk uh, for just only five steps and then I I hear the sound of Vroom. when I look is the car when I put my my hand on my waist yeah. It's whereby they breached. You don't do that, we'll kill you. It's whereby I surrender. And they arrest me until I get sentenced. 28 years and start to join now the gangster inside the prison. Inside the, so, um, why 28 years, uh, Tabo? That's a long time. What crimes were involved in that? Yeah, the crimes that were there, they were combined mm -hmm. because it was a jigging car theft and a, a business robberies. Okay. Because uh, the house robberies was, uh, have not appeared. Okay. So they were combined and then the, the lawyer who was representing me was a legal aide. Mm -hmm. The sentence was uh, in life, but uh, my represent the lawyer would represent me. He talk and fight, and then he comes to two years, mm -hmm. and they sentence me twenty eight years. Twenty eight years. And how how did you feel uh, by that time? Um, were, were there regrets that you were you were you were having on the life that you were actually living? Like where you say I was doing this, but there was. I, had, I was regretting my lifestyle. Was there something like that in your life? My local pastor, I just wanted to be honest. I didn't regret mm. and I was not remorseful. Okay. Because why? From my childhood, mm. because the way I was being handled in my family, my father, my mother, uh, always I was thinking, I think that one day I can be in prison. Okay. So I didn't regret. I just accept. And I was seeing that uh, it was a normal life. Mm -hmm. Okay. To be, to stay. It doesn't mean that you are locked in all of the time. Mm. There is exercise time. Mm. There is a breakfast time, lunch, supper. Mm. You know, so so you thought it was better than it was better outside. than because in prison I was not beaten, never. I was doing the things that uh, to step the officials, the other inmates of other gangsterism, but they were never beating me. They was just uh, asking uh, uh, the victims, "Are you making? Are you opening a case?" And when the victim said, yes, I'm opening a case, then the police are called to take the statement. Mm. Mm. And then I get other, I, I, I was sentenced other years, more three years, two years, but it was concrete. Okay. All In right. In other words, uh, it was uh, working together with uh, the sentence that I entered the prison. Okay. So they sentenced you 
28 years, you are now in prison. Uh, how did you join a gang? Because from outside, you have you had your own gang mm-hmm. that you that you had, and now you are in prison. Because well, I want us to understand, mm-hmm. and uh, our viewers, I really want you to uh, let your children watch this mm-hmm. uh, um, a- as much as uh, we think that we all uh, figured it out. It's not like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, your child might end up being arrested mm-hmm. and before uh, all this thing this can be avoided let them hear uh, the life in prison L- let's talk about life in prison mm-hmm. uh, um, if you don't have a gang in prison you don't have a group that you belong to explain a life of a, an inmate like that yeah an inmate that is not uh, involved in a gangsterism he is living with the people who are involved in gangsterism. Maybe he is getting visit every mm-hmm. week. Mm-hmm. He's getting uh, those things that he needs, uh, toiletries, okay. uh, refreshment, uh, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, he is bringing this, those things to us because we are protecting him. Aha. Uh-huh. And always when he's uh, making a call, yeah. He is uh, informing his people or his family that these people are treating me well and and I'm protected. Mm -hmm. So if you are not in gangsterism, you make sure you provide for the ones that are protected. You provide for those you are protecting you. And let's say there's nobody Uh that is bringing things from outside. Uh Uh, How are they protected? They don't want to join gangsterism. Yeah, it goes with a. I want to be honest, Pastor. Yeah. I hide nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you don't get that, uh, uh, maybe they are coming to you, but they bring you nothing, mm-hmm. or you have nothing. If you are smart, mm-hmm. maybe you'll say beautiful. Yeah, you are a man, but you are a beautiful. Yeah, when you see to you, you see a human. Yeah, wow. And you are soft. Uh, your Yo, 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 yo. Oh, the gate is how. Yeah. They are not hard like a man to mm. show that this is a man. Mm. And then you are going to be a woman. Sure. Today you are in my bed. Sure. Tomorrow you are to another one. In another word now, you are now our prostitute now sure. of the gangsters. That, so they are that changing gangsters. that yes. man. You see, we are changing that man now to a woman. Mm. And wherever he goes, he's having those who are guarding him. Protecting, that's our prostitute. You see, that uh, must not be disturbed. We are having soldiers in our gangsters. That protects. That protects him, her, him alone. Mm. You see. Mm. So, uh, it's what uh, is uh, happening in the gangsterism and all the gangsterism now. There is no gangsterism that is working with money anymore. Okay. That is working with sodomy. Yeah. That is uh, those who are uh, who are uh, escaping from the prison. All of them now they are busy now with sodomy. Sure. And, and tell me that person. Um, after prison, uh, because that can break a man, Mm -hmm. Uh, after prison or even during uh, prison, how can you describe uh, their emotional status? Uh, I'm talking of the one that is now a prostitute. Yeah, Baba, uh, the one that is uh, now uh, is a prostitute of the the game. game. Mm -hmm. He enjoys. We are we are bringing him to that level to enjoy sure. and to accept this because he see also that he is safe. No one is uh, using vulgar words or maybe swearing unto him or talking whatever he wants to him. So if another gang try to touch, we fight. 
wow okay we fight we just step because we know how to to put them in a ring okay that we can attack them okay you know because uh, prison is very very dangerous mm. than outside mm. it's very dangerous you can run but you can hide you can't hide mm. Because the, you are confined here yeah, in one yes, place. You can go. You can make maybe a request to to go and stay alone in the single cells. But we are having our our brothers of gangsterism. Yeah, we just uh, sent uh, the letter. This this guy so uh, so 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 guy. His name is Bani Bani. And then just deal with them with him. Now t- tell me, Tabo, um, to join the gangsterism. How did you join the one in prison? Uh, were there people already uh, that you uh, knew that were uh, already part of the gangs, or what was the process? What is it that made you, or when they say we are accepting you into our gangs, what is it that is? Uh, yeah, pers-